Were you raised by a highly critical parent? As much as we talk about narcissistic parents, being raised by an adult who is highly, highly critical of themselves and their children can be just as damaging to children in the long run when they become adults. And there's a few reasons for this. Number one, in these adult children of highly critical parents, they can grow up with this need to apologize because the critical parent is always critiquing, always analyzing everything their children does, right or wrong. Those children grow up saying, I'm sorry, because more often than not, they get it wrong with that parent, right? So you can find yourself being that person who says, I'm sorry, all the time when you grew up with a critical parent. There's also this really troubling inability for children of highly critical parents to self-rely because they always have that parent running around behind them, criticizing them, telling them what to do and what not to do. They never really learn to trust their instincts. They tend to look outward for answers. So this inherent slowness, right? This like, inability to proceed that happens to a lot of children of highly critical parents. For example, if you are someone who misses out on a lot of opportunities because you don't act fast enough, because you are too busy inside of your head questioning yourself, criticizing yourself, analyzing, weighing all the options to make sure you make exactly the perfect choice, and then the opportunities missed, uh, it could be because you have that critical inner voice implanted from a highly critical parent who taught you you had to choose the right thing or you were it's also extremely common for the children of highly critical parents to be challenge avoidant, right? Because you are always being criticized, because you feel this pressure to always get things right, or you will be criticized or punished, um, those children of highly critical parents, you may feel like, I don't wanna take on challenges. I don't wanna try new things. I don't wanna do new things. I don't think I can overcome hardships because you've constantly been held down and criticized through all your developmental stages by your parents. <laughs> With all of that in mind, it's kind of easy to see how someone who grew up decades under a highly critical parent could develop social anxiety, right? Because when you have a parent who is constantly criticizing and critiquing and analyzing and ripping apart everything you are, everything you think, everything you do, then you come to believe that that's how everyone in the world is acting. So when you walk into a room, you think everyone is criticizing you, critiquing, analyzing and tearing apart everything you do because the person that you trusted most <laughs> in your life did that to you as a kid, right? Which is not really true, but it can create this huge social anxiety, which is a huge barrier in making those healthier connections that survivors of these highly critical parents wanna make. And one of the worst elements is really this razor wire inner voice that gets implanted in you, right? For example, my voice, it, for a long time, it was my mother, right? Criticizing my body, criticizing the way I looked, making sure I had to be covered up, I had to get the best grades, I had to be the best, the best person, the best sport, because I could hear her in my mind saying, well, you could have done that better, couldn't you? Couldn't that have been better? An A? Why wasn't it an A plus? When you grow up having that outside voice, your outside consciousness, which is your parents for a long time, tell you you're bad, tell you this is wrong, do that, do this, that becomes your inner voice. <laughs> It's also pretty common for the children of highly critical parents to become overachievers, right? If you've got somebody bearing down on you constantly ripping up, ripping you apart and tearing apart and overanalyzing and criticizing everything that you do, you're going to want to do more and more and more and more because some of us internalize it and go, well, if I'm just absolutely the biggest and the best, there's nothing for them to criticize. Wrong, they'll still criticize it. And that's in the same vein of perfectionism, right? Perfectionists, we see so many children of highly critical parents who become so critical of themselves that they drive themselves into this need for perfection, this need to prove that they are above reproach, that they are above being criticized. And again, it's a losing game because that's right, you can never be perfect. And my personal favorite is the destruction of relationships. That's right, when you grow up with a highly critical parent, it can create relationship patterns in adulthood that are tense, that are stressful, that are never happy, that are unequal. You might get yourself in a relationship where you have to chase the other person and prove to them that you're worthy, just like you couldn't prove that you were worthy to your highly critical parent or you might get yourself in a good relationship and tear it apart by making constant comparisons and being so critical that you can't enjoy the real love and opportunity that you have in front of you. So is there anything we can do to defeat these patterns if we're the children of highly critical parents? Fortunately, yes. 
You can accept who your parents actually were. You can figure out what actually went wrong. And that might be through therapy. It's through study. It's through learning. It's through research. Uh, Embrace your core rights as an individual. Lean into that authentic self, whoever that self is right now in this present moment, or whoever that ideal vision of who you want to be is. Consciously break the cycle. Stop being that parent. Kick that voice out of your head. Build yourself back up. You need confidence. You need self-esteem. Be intentionally honest with yourself. Even when you get things wrong, you don't have to be perfect. And most importantly of all, set bigger boundaries. Critics need no longer apply. What do you think? Did you notice these patterns with your highly critical parent? Let me know in the comments and follow for more.